Uh, let's mute and mute it for the YouTube, please get a hold of me and ban my video. But anyway, this is what I have going on, folks. I've got a bunch of fairings just hanging around. <clears throat> I'll show you this one first. Um, what I have here is a bunch of orange peel. Uh, feels a lot smoother than it looks, but uh, yeah, I've got four coats of clear coat on it. So I can wet sand that out, no problem at all. It just takes time. Uh, this one is one that I've been working on a little bit. And get some sunlight. You can see some of it in there, but it's not terrible. Uh, compared to the one over there, it is a lot smoother. So did this one, and I did a little bit on this one too. And what I did here is, so that smooths up pretty good. And I just hit it with polish just real quick to see how it was going to shine. Uh, that's just one polish and I'm sure I'll go back and do it three, four, or five times just to get a lot of shine out of it. But uh, that's coming out pretty good. It just takes a lot of wet sanding, which is really a crazy idea. You paint your fairings. So there, that one's kind of shiny. Uh, I did scuff it up just a little bit so it knocked some of the dullness off. But then... You get it nice and shiny, you paint it, you clear it, and then you take sandpaper to it, and you have this dull finish. But then you take polish to it, and you get the shine back. It's a crazy concept, but it works. Whatever. There's my F4F. Still a fire tarp. Didn't want to get overspray all over it. <clears throat> but uh, what this video is about mainly is there's nothing here on this door. Um... I get several stickers. I've got like a uh, little envelope full of them that I've run out of places on my bike to put. Uh, my windscreen, if I put one there, I'm going to be covering up other people's and I just don't really like that too much. So what I plan on doing is taking a piece of plexi, like a big piece, putting it here. And I know a lot of people have white stickers, so I might paint half of it black, leave half of it clear, or paint it white, whatever. And that's where all my stickers are going to go from now on. Um, Magnum Double Step sent me actually some stickers the day that I got to the shop. And I went and picked them up. I'm like, well, let's see. Where am I going to put them? I was like, oh, that's a perfect idea. Uh, I thought I'd do it on the tank. But if anything happens in the tank and I get rid of it, then I lose all my stickers. Toolbox. Not a whole lot of space on there. But why don't I put it on my door? Uh, the door's not going anywhere unless I rip it off somehow. But... Um, that's my idea, so if you want to send stickers, uh, I'll put the P.O. box in the description. It's in my other videos, y'all should have it by now, but, yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna keep it updated. I wanna put something in my, you can see where the damn pig got a hold of a box. But anyway, you can see where, where I completely lost my train of thought. I have no clue what I was talking about. But anyway, um, I'm trying to make an intro or something out of it so you can see it. Yeah, you know, as people send me stickers, I'm going to keep it up to date. It'll be in my videos, except for the ones like here that I do on my phone. But uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, everyone who goes on there, every motor vlogger out there has, whether it be inspired me to make a video, inspired me to start motor vlogging. You know, we all feed off of each other, uh, no matter how good or how bad, in my case, you are. Uh, someone is going to get something out of your videos. So that's my whole idea. Uh, like I said, feel free to send stickers. They will go up here. And, yeah, that's that. As you can see, that's where I've been wet sanding. There's Fatty up there on the hill. And uh, there's two of my cars. 71 Nova and a 51 Chevy Styline Deluxe. But that's it. Later, guys, I'm going to get back to sanding and hopefully have this project finished before, yeah, two, three, four months out. Hopefully, just a couple of days. If I don't have to work, then I can go ahead and knock it out in a day or two, but you know how night shift is. All right, later, folks.